think that they will have to recognize that 80 percent, 90 percent of the people they listen to in Brussels will tell them that somehow the Internet is breaking and that that is why the rules have to be changed. Very simple um, message for them. The Internet is not breaking. The speed of increase of traffic is decreasing. There was a little bit of a, an increase in traffic in 2020 when we all went home. Mm -hmm. uh, but over the longer term, you will see the speed of increase of traffic is decreasing. The network, which was predicted to be broken in 2006 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 and all the way through this entire internet debate, uh, uh, internet neutrality debate, it is not broken. If they really want to revisit everything that we discussed uh, when we were discussing the fact that we needed to, uh, to encourage both sides to have a positive sum uh, investment in the internet, they're very welcome to read a very long and, and frankly too detailed book that I wrote in 2017, which was the one after we'd passed the open internet uh, regulation that explained how much of the debate had been based on, uh, I'll call it disinformation, information that was not accurate about how the network was growing. So they should be very careful about making public statements that somehow internet traffic is growing too fast for investment to keep up with it. Because those profits of doom, which have been around for 25 years, are incorrect. Um, I will admit now, for a very short period, 20 years ago, I worked for WorldCom, and those with very, and, and it, for those people listening to this podcast who don't remember WorldCom, just look up the prediction that traffic was doubling every 100 days. There are lies, damned lies, and predictions of a fast internet traffic growth. We can deal with it. We always have dealt with it. We will deal with it in future. There is no need to break the model, which has been so successful for those 25 years.